I learnt a very important lesson yesterday. Don't try and record a YouTube video after two or three classes of port. It's quite easy. Very simple. Coffee's good. Port's great in the evening, but don't try and record after it. So I'm going to re-record this, um, <laughs> last night was um, funny, um, I felt like it went really well, but maybe that's the danger of alcohol. Can I just say? So I'm here re-recording the video with a cup of coffee, very nice, lovely, ports beautiful in the evening, but not for recording with. So I'm going to try and stay on topic and talk about what I meant to talk about, which is how I organise my Lightroom catalogue. So I'm going to cut to the screen and show you how I have it organised. So as you can see on the left hand side uh, in the folders part of the screen, uh, we've got uh, my pictures folder which has got a folder for 2021 and each of the shoots that I've done this year um, as you know we're in lockdown I'm not going out shooting um, so there's just three shoots before the lockdown started and on the other hard drives because um, I'm quite fortunate with this machine that I have uh, three hard drives in here uh, it was built by a, a local company uh, which is uh, Chill Blast over in Pool. Uh, I'll put their details down below in the in the in the description. Um, the other drives are um, like four terabyte hard drives, so they're much much bigger, um, but a little bit slower than my C drive, which is a an M.2 solid state drive. So that's the most useful one to have the um, the current images that you're working on. So in this 2021 folder, I've got a folder for each of the shoots. So 2021-01 January, Boscombe, 2021-01 the New Forest, and Southbourne, Groin 52. So I always always do these the same way with the year, the month and the location and I'll show you why I do it like that in a moment. Um, if you wanted to move these between um, um, like the, the, the various drives on your hard, on your system then don't whatever you do go into Windows Explorer and do it within there. Um, the only way to do it is within Lightroom itself. Don't go in those folders, you don't need to go in those folders. Uh, Lightroom is a bit of a control freak so it needs to know where everything is so if you want to move things around move them in here so I as I say I keep the, the images that I'm working on probably the last month or so of images in the C drive the, the fastest drive and the other images for the other years so there's a year um, like 2020 2019 you know they're all all in here and each each shoot that I did during that year is within that year folder. So if I want to move, let's say, the Boscombe folder to the D drive, I just click and drag it into the 2021 folder that I've created in there. And then that will move all the images across, won't break anything. So if I click on here, you'll Wakey wakey. Right, so 20. Now it's having a little think. Right, so the Boscombe files are in that 2021 on the D drive now. So I've finished processing them and they're just stored. Safe, I can process them um, at another time if I want, um, but they're just not on the fastest drive. So I'm keeping space um, on the fast drive for 
what I really need it for. So we've got I've got all the um, all the various sheets on there. So if I just wanted to find out, um, grab all the images that I've shot down at Boscombe, I mean, there would be lots because um, it's you know, it's five minutes down the road from me and it's a very good last minute location. So if I go down to collections. Click on the plus, click on the create a smart collection, and I'll just create a, a smart collection called Shots of Boscan. So it's going to pick up any image that's in a folder that contains the word Boscan. If I do that, click on create, and it's going to appear in this list down the bottom here Shots of Boscan 4606. Not bad. So these are some of the images. You might recognise one or two of these one or two of these shots. Okay, so that's that's what I use the folders for and why I put them in the names. Um, smart collections are really useful for saying oh, okay, I want to grab all the shots that I've got of Kimmeridge or Boscombe or Corfe Castle or the New Forest and just um, be able to sort of pick them out and say okay I've got 4,000 shots of that if you've got uh, someone that's after a particular image um, and you want to find an easy way to go through it. Right, that's all I'm going to cover at this stage and uh, the next video I'm going to go into the star ratings and the colours and the flags and what I use those for. Uh, so that should be out at the end of the week and um, in the meantime thank you for watching and I'll see you next time thank you